You know how one of the things in the news is that uh, they're asking former nurses and doctors, you know, and retired to, to come back yep. and help out. We have one such uh, former nurse on, on the line now who's given us a call. This is Maria in Lewis. But it's, it's not just any old Maria in Lewis. This is Maria Caulfield, our MP oh. in Lewis. Hello, Maria. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks very much. Wait, so have you been thinking about this for a while? Well, uh, I, you know, obviously since I was elected in 2015, I continued to um, work shifts and kept, kept my registration. Um, and uh, I became a whip just before Christmas and under the ministerial code, you're not supposed to have uh, any other form of employment. So I've had to seek special dispensation uh, to go back. But, you know, I've got my registration. I'm still fully trained uh, at my old hospital, still got my uniform. Um, so there's absolutely no reason why I couldn't go back to, to help out at this time. Good for you. Good for you. I mean, that, that must feel like a very positive thing to do. I mean, I'm, I'm sure democracy is important as well, but this is a very practical thing to do, isn't it? Yeah, I'm in Parliament sitting next week because we've got the emergency legislation to put through, but we are heading into what we would, would be recess anyway. And as in recess, I'm not allowed to see constituents at surgeries, public meetings, etc. You know, I'm very happy to use the time to, uh, you know, work in other ways to support the community. And, you know, for me, it's easy because I was doing shifts right up until Christmas anyway. But I know it can be quite daunting for others who've maybe been out of uh, healthcare for a year, 18 months, two years so the health secretary has said you know whatever support they need to, to if they you know are willing to do it will be will be given to them yeah i did hear can i just ask you this because you can imagine if if you're a doctor who's worked i don't know 40 years as a doctor and they're now sort of in their 70s they're presumably they're in the vulnerable groups should i mean do you, are they being welcomed back or should they being encouraged back I mean, I think for the over 70s, it's slightly different. But, you know, there are lots of um, doctors and nurses who maybe took early retirement, whether it's through childcare issues or, uh, you know, they've just kind of had, you know, had enough. It's hard work in the NHS. So there's lots of, um, you know, people who've come out of the healthcare setting for a variety of reasons who are well below the age of 70. Um, and so, you know, it's an opportunity for people to really think about it. And there's a variety of settings. You know, we see ITU footage on the TV. We're not all expected. To, I don't have skills to work in ITU. Um, so, you know, there's a variety of settings that the health service needs people's skills with. Um, so, you know, if you think you've got anything at all that you could offer um, and, you know, you just need a little bit of help and support to get back into it, um, please do get in contact. OK, looking forward to seeing you rolling up your sleeves, Maria. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>